Hi there, and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now, we're hot off the heels from the previous video, which only came out last week, and I thought I'd strike while the iron is hot in terms of the next little piece of model building regarding this branch line upper level station. So from the relative success of the gable ends that I had laser cut out of one millimetre card, I thought that opens the door for hopefully being able to produce the canopy that sits down on the platform. So the original St Michael's station had a canopy on one side of the platform and on the other there was just a rather basic looking shelter. Now that of course is all gone now because there are now these hideous long ramps that come down to the platform. So just to allude a little bit more about the era that I'm basing this St Michael station on and it is pre the ramps as I mentioned and it's also actually pre one of the platform stair entrances being modified into some kind of wider squared off concrete looking entrance when in one of the photos that I actually managed to dig out I could faintly see where there used to be an archway that was the same as the other side. So once again I designed up a simplified version of the canopy. Of course the real canopy had a lot more detail and was far more intricate but to try and do that at 1 in 76 scale it's a little bit difficult unless of course maybe I had a 3D printer. So one of the other aspects that I really needed to consider was I was laser cutting card at 1 to 1.5 millimeters in dimension and based on the laser cutter and the number of passes that are needed to get through say 2 millimeter card essentially the card will probably burst into flames. So hence why I use one millimetre card because it needs far fewer passes. So in some components with the canopy design I use one millimetre card but doubled it up to achieve a thicker dimension. So with all the components laser cut and it did actually do a reasonably good job at such a tiny intricate size. It was then a case of assembling this which I knew was going to be <laughs> quite a tricky process but with a little bit of patience and also the help of some pieces of wood to support and hold the different components while I glued various elements together it began to take shape.
So as you would have just seen in the speeded up footage, there was also the actual glazing component as well. And once again, this was the same process that was used for the windows in the station, but just on a slightly larger scale. So as part of the canopy design, I created a small brick wall to the edge of the platform, which just adds a little bit more support because this canopy eventually will be anchored into place on the platform. Once I'd anchored the brick wall to the top of the canopy, it was a case of doing a little bit of weathering to the brickwork. Now, I didn't want to use weathering powders or anything like that because I knew that they would just get into the actual canopy itself because I want to really sort of keep the canopy reasonably crisp. So what I actually used here was some watercolour pencils and essentially just a black watercolour pencil that I scribed on some of the black color and with a very lightly moistened paintbrush just blended in that tonal difference and I just really applied to the top and the bottom of the wall and the other benefit to this is I don't really need to go over this with a clear fixative like a matte spray or anything like that because I really didn't want to do that either because then that would actually get all over the canopy. Now People were probably asking, well, why didn't you weather the brick wall before you attached it to the canopy? Well, I just didn't think of that. And just as a final little wee treatment for the brick wall, it was a case of putting up some British Railway posters of some sunny locations and young ladies wearing very little clothing. So I think the canopy has actually come out reasonably well. And although it's not an identical replica, of the St. Michael's canopy that used to exist. It certainly ties in with the architectural theme that existed in the early days of the St. Michael's station. So what's next on the list for this particular area of the layout? And you would have seen in some of that footage there that a small embankment has been created next to the platform in between the branch and the main line. Now, that is in the early stages and I have recorded some footage with the work on that and of course with the topography of that embankment that sort of gives me an indication of how possibly a low-lying hill might form above the double tunnel entrances where the main line and the colliery branch also head through. So in some respects it's a bit of a sneak preview of the next video. So I'll leave it there for now and I certainly hope you've gathered some inspiration and potential ideas for your own layouts. So take care everyone, do look after yourselves and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.